Hey guys, welcome back. Another big card show, another big theft. Or we have two thefts actually with this one here. We have the National Sports Collectors Convention. Very, very gigantic show that happened from July 24th to 28th in Cleveland, Ohio. And this is just a, a reminder. Yes, it was mostly sports cards, some money that was stolen, but it's all the same. It doesn't matter what trading cards they are, what they're doing. I know a lot of people like to go to these shows and vend, or they bring stuff with them to trade in or sell. You need to be very careful. You need to be very careful at shows. You need to be very careful at home. You need security for your stuff. It doesn't matter if it's cardboard. As we've seen in a recent example at the Dallas Card Show, we had $2 million go missing get stolen you need to be air tagging this stuff you need to be it, you need to have someone looking at it at all times whether you need to hire a separate person for security to make sure that nothing goes missing nothing gets swiped whatever it is if you're at home if you're at a show cameras quality cameras have them running the entire time we've seen it work once before i guess with the uh, little vendor pov here and people are not doing the camera thing for security it seems like they're doing it because they happen to be recording they're making content out of it but even that is paid off get some cameras have them rolling the whole time have them pointed in all directions away from your table if you're up against a wall you need less cameras if you're out in the middle you need lots of cameras but you also need to make sure that you have the security the appropriate security in place having two million dollars worth of cards even if there are three employees there you need to have someone Hawkeye, eagle eye with that stuff at all times or have it in a way that it cannot just be taken from the booth. Even if the three of you are chasing after a guy, and this is not victim blaming, this is just a, a cautionary tale, a be careful guys, because we got two more examples. So before we start that, before we get into that, we got a slight update on the old Dallas card show. We just have a, there's a spreadsheet that shows all of the missing cards. If anyone sees any of these, again, there's been a lack of information. It doesn't seem like any of this stuff has popped up yet. I don't know if the perpetrators knew what they were getting themselves into when they stole this stuff. But again, we have photos of the expensive stuff that even if they're cracked out of the cases, the grading company should have a lookout, be on the lookout for this stuff. Grading companies, wink, wink, please be on the lookout for this stuff. Based on the, they should have posters, wanted posters sticking up all over the the headquarters of these grading companies. So we got two examples here, National Sports Card Convention. And yes, it doesn't matter if it's sports cards. It doesn't matter if it's Pokemon cards, whatever it is. If there's value there, you're going to have thieves. And we've had a lot of thieves recently, like just a disgusting amount of thieves that are picking this stuff off because people are not prepared. People are not defending their product. They're, they're, there's a lot of money. We have an example here, $200,000 in cards and cash left in a car, and these guys swiped it. So if you have any information about that, you can definitely reach out to the number on screen there. We got the first district detective unit is seeking assistance from our community partners in identifying pictured suspects. Anyone with information, please contact the first district detective unit or Crime Stoppers tip line. On July 28, 2024, while at the IX Center, the above pictured suspects broke into a vehicle, stealing multiple items and currency worth over $200,000. So, probably cards. Probably cards. That was during the convention, at the end of the convention. And uh, we're going to go ahead and assume that somebody has a... Do not leave stuff in your car. Please. Especially not $200,000 worth. It, um, again, they might not break into every single vehicle. Maybe you have it hidden in the trunk or whatever. But if these guys are jimmy and open trunks and doors and whatever, they, they happen to get into yours and it's gone. The two were seen fleeing eastbound on Brook Park Road from Henry Ford Boulevard in the pictured blue Honda Odyssey. If anyone recognizes these suspects or has any information, they're asked to contact the numbers below. So, wild stuff. Not two million, two hundred thousand. Still, just a disgusting amount of money. Please be careful. It doesn't matter if it's in your home. It doesn't matter if it's at a show. You have valuables, and yes, there is incentive for people to steal them. So be careful. Be careful disclosing where your stuff is. Be careful even keeping your stuff at home. Any of the stuff that's over a certain value. Be careful displaying your stuff, because people 
at this point in time, in 2024, know that Pokemon cards are worth money. And if you make a shrine and it's got Charizards on top of Charizards or baseball players or whatever it is, if you put it on display, that's the stuff that's going to get stolen. Be careful. I know it's nice to be able to look at and see your stuff and appreciate your stuff. It's nice to be able to stick your stuff in the car if you don't feel like carrying it. But be careful. They're just like you want to display it. There's somebody that wants to steal it. Or just like you don't want to carry it, there's somebody that wants to steal it. Please. Next, we have more. We have a second incident. Um, it was a big show, so I would be surprised if there wasn't even more than these two incidents here. But we have Big Boyd Sports Cards making a post saying, Card stolen at the National. When leaving, we had a card of items stolen that included sealed cases, boxes, single cards. Bigger list will be coming, but some of the single cards... And they have a little list here, plus many more items. Bigger list available soon. So there's even more than this. Off the top of my head, I'm not really sure what the value is. If anyone does know what the value is, please do let me know down below. Appreciate it if you could do that. Um, plus many more items. Bigger list. What are they saying here? So there was one person that was like trolling and pretending they had information in the comments here, which is not cool. They say a bigger and better list will be provided soon, but wanted to get this preliminary small list out there so people are made aware. So if you see anything like this floating around, uh, please do send that my way. Send it to Big Boyd Sports Cards, and uh, and hopefully we can track down these items. I mean, they're gonna they gotta sell them at some point, right? Chances are, uh, criminals like this they're they're looking to make a quick buck, whether that's money that they need for uh, the old uh, drug arenies. Or, uh, you know, whatever else. Whatever other recreational activities they're looking to do. When leaving the National, many time, many items went missing. Please see partial list. There's significantly more. Uh, working on a larger list. That was at booth 2138, 2238. So if you were in around that area and you were recording your booth from your booth, uh, do, do take a look. If you were in around there and you have footage of you just walking around, definitely do that as well so man it's it's wild but guys please booth security cameras security and cameras security and security cameras this is what uh, this is this has always been a thing there's always going to be people that are shoplifting that are trying to steal from you that are trying to steal your case or whatever it's not like a new thing but this has been extremely prevalent recently and everyone needs to be careful We'll be providing a monetary reward to any information leading to the recovery of items. Thank you, Terry and Big Boyd Sports Cards. So if you do have any information, uh, even if you provide it to me, I'll make sure that they know that you provided that to me, uh, that you assisted with that. And if we can help this out, I don't know if it's the same, if it's the same crooks for both of these incidents. It might be, it might not be. There was a lot of people there. And uh, if you have any tips, if you have, if you have anything whatsoever, please uh, come forward with it. If there are updates on this, I'll t I'll try to try to get them out, try to make sure that people can see it. Hopefully, we can get some footage of the person that actually stole this stuff. I mean, if they walked off with a cart, chances are they walked by somebody. So hopefully, that's going to result in some images or some video of these these guys, this guy that that stole this stuff. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Friday. Have a good one. Thanks for using the link tree, the discount codes, your Rattle 5 on the old Trolling Toad. You can just shop on Card Market if you're from Europe, but you should be anyway. And if you have a friend there, you can shop there, get your nice variants, your regional variants, all the other affiliate links and such. Best way to support the channel because you're buying the things that you want anyway, buying the things that you need anyway, uh, and just clicking on stuff or using codes to get yourself a discount before you do so. That's the best way to do it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.